What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Gonna show you a little rock and riff. Uh, actually, show you as many parts as uh, as I know on this one, um, and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time doing it. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with. An A, it's all power chords. We're going to start with an A power chord, which is right on the fifth fret. So I'm going to put my index finger on the fifth fret right here. Some guys use their pinky a whole step up on the next string. I do that sometimes, but most of the time I use my ring finger. And uh, we're going to do just two two note power chords. All right, so we're gonna start with that and go. And then a little rest. So we've got down, down. And sometimes I've seen it this way. But those same notes are right here and I saw a live version where he's doing it here. I don't get too hung up on the, on the location of the exact same note, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna go to up to the 10th fret power chord here. go 10, 9, 8, so we've got 5, 5, 10, 9, 8, give it away now, give it away now, give it away now, just kidding, so we've got, um, uh, after we do that, from the 7th fret, or no, I'm sorry. From the eighth fret, we kind of go eight, slide up to ten, and I sometimes it sounds like it's not there, and sometimes it is there. It's kind of muddy, but it's definitely there uh, most of the time, if not all the time. So we've got. So it's not like a. It's more. A, it's pretty subtle. So. There's not, you're not picking every note. There's, you know, when you have more gain. Okay, now, Turn this down a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna go the next section, and it's five, three, eight, twelve, five. Check it out. Five, three, eight, twelve, five. All power chords. Tonic thing under there that's like that you could double up. You know, little fills and stuff. So we're going to go to the 7th fret power chord, then up a whole
full step. So there's pretty fast little lick right there. I, I think it, I, I'm playing the right notes, I just learned it by ear. You, there's some different, you know. For some reason, I, it's easier for me to play it on the high E string. Uh, there's not as much mock, mocky mock. So we've got um, one, two, then a one, two, one, trill. So it's like, see that? To that two on the B. That, that note's really quick. That's why if I'm playing right here, it's just barred. cam. So it's like one, two, four. Then it goes into the C sharp minor pentatonic, you know, extravaganza or smorgasbord. And I, if I were you, I would just work on just coming up with some jam, jammy licks in that scale, because I, I didn't, you know, go through every note of the solo. I apologize, but when I've covered this song, I go into my own thing there, and I, I think that's a good way to go, unless it's like one of those super, you know, like the solo to Sweet Child of Mine is of a specific, specific set of melodies, whereas this is kind of rocking out, improvised. <laughs> Lots of kind of that growly stuff, you know, so you've got like the ninth fret on the high E and the twelfth on the B. And you're bending the twelfth up to that note. And then you can also do that same thing where you're on the ninth of the B and you're bending the eleventh of the G up to that note. Or you can cover both of these. more of that trill stuff. Then you've got this super gothic um, uh, kind of line here where we're going to go, which is going to be the fourth of the A, and then five, four, three on the low E. be a part of this world record guitar lesson thingy you can click the link below and check it out otherwise we'll see you in another lesson real soon take care